guys, it's Gretchen, and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the bare face, as well as the title of this video, I am going to be doing another makeup video, and not just any makeup video, but today is going to be another one of my album art inspired makeup looks. Today's makeup look will be inspired, hopefully, by Five Finger Death Punch's newest album, Fate. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. It says F8 on the album. I'm hoping that's pronounced Fate. That's how I'm pronouncing it. If you've never heard of Five Finger Death Punch, they are a very angry band. Just kidding. But they are kind of angry in their sound. Which is perfect because that's me. Internally. All the time. Angry. Have I ever mentioned that I'm an Aries? Five Finger Death Punch gets a lot of hate and flack. Some of it's well deserved, some of it's not. Some people are very justified in their hatred for Five Finger Death Punch. Other people hate them just to hate them. You are not edgy or cool. But yes, that is gonna be where I take my inspiration from today. As you can see from the cover, there are kind of four main colors. You have black on the outside. You have like a really dark red on, coming a little closer inward. Then you have an orange, a very dark orange. And then you have like this goldish. So for today, I will be using two different palettes. The first palette I will be using is Blood Sugar from Jeffree Star. Prime Primarily the color Prick, I think. Prick and Cherry Soda, I think, will be my two main ones that I use from this palette. And then the other palette that I'll be using is the Zulu by Juvia's. I absolutely love this one because the colors are just so fun. And I think I'll be using the orange and the yellow. I may even pull the brown in at one point because it does give off that more burnt look to the album art. So I think I might pull that in. So it might end up being five colors. And as for the black, because I <laughs> neither one of these palettes actually have black in it, I will be using this single from Urban Decay. It's called Blackout. The only reason why I have this is because I like to set my eyeliner. And so I put my eyeliner on, then I use a little tiny brush to go back over it with black eyeshadow. So that's its only purpose ever. So I may bring this in for part of the eye look. But before we can even start, doing my makeup. I have to pull my hair out of my face with my floral kitty ears. And then I need to zoom you all in. So for primer today, I will be using the Hydro Grip Primer by Milk Makeup. I have a really tiny bottle because I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it. I didn't like it at first, if I'm being completely honest, because I didn't like how my makeup sat on top of it or how it actually sat on top of my face. At first I was like, oh, I'm really glad I only got this tiny bottle because I really don't like how it's holding my makeup together. But once I learned how to work with it, I really like it now. And then for my eyeshadow primer, I'll be going in with Morphe, which is one of my favorite eyeshadow primers. I just like how easy it is to put on the eye. And I've actually already colored in my eyebrows, even though my eyebrows are microbladed because my hair is darker now, I do like to color it in. So I just use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in taupe, which is actually lighter than this hair color, but I don't want to get like a super dark one because I do plan on lightening my hair up for the summer again. So I can never make up my mind with my hair. All right, so the first color that I will be using for my eye look today is Prick, which is this lighter one down here. And this will be going above my crease because I do have hooded eyes. I go above the crease to kind of make sure that you can see all the colors. I will now be going back into the blood sugar palette and picking up some of cherry soda, which will go directly into my crease. So if you look at the album art, you do see in the very center, there's kind of like this goldish look. So I'm gonna go into the Zulu palette and pick up that yellow. I may find that that yellow is too bright. And if so, I will figure out a way to tone it down. But I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. this is looking more like a pretty sunset than it is like this burnt fire 
thing they have going on, but I hope I can save it. The so next thing, I'm gonna go into the Zulu palette and get that orange color and put that on like the dead center of my eyelid. All right, so again, it's looking more like a sunset right now than I want, but I am gonna go in to the black now and just put that on the outer corner of my eyelid just to darken this up a little bit, but I do think I am gonna end up going in with a brown. Almost make it look like it's burned because that's what the album art kind of reminds me of is like a fire, not so much a sunset. Now I'm gonna go in with that black and kind of blend it into the other colors. This black doesn't blend very well. That or these brushes kind of suck. All right, so now to kind of burn everything up, I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and get some of this brown in the Zulu palette. I don't wanna get too much because I don't want it to like become just a brown look, but I am gonna try and just go all over the lid. Black really didn't want to blend out. Has anyone ever had a problem with that with Urban Decay? Usually their stuff is really good, but that one just doesn't want to blend out. I'm literally putting this brown all over my eyelid now. Tried to have a rhyme or reason for it, just wasn't having it. I think that actually did a pretty decent job of burning it up. Not thrilled with the look, mostly because this black is just being a pain in the butt. But you know what? We can't sit here and play with this all day. And for under the eye, I actually am just gonna go in to the brown itself, and that's gonna go under my eye. All right, so now that that's all done, it is time to put some eyeliner on and some falsies. For eyeliner, I always use two different kinds. My top lash line gets the NYX, that's the point, in hella fine, and then the bottom lash line gets Sex Kitten by Tarte on the lower lash line. And I will be doing these off camera just because my mirror is all the way down here and it's just gonna look funky, so I'll be right back. Okay, I am back now with eyeliner and some lashes on, so now it's time to get to the rest of my face so that I can actually talk about the album itself. So for today's foundation, I will be using Tarte's Double Duty Beauty Face Tape. So this album is Five Finger Death Punches. I think it's their eighth album. I mean, that would make sense because of the eight on the album art. So as I mentioned, I am a Five Finger Death Punch fan. I guess also you could call me an apologist just because I personally think that there's something redeeming about every single album they put out. Yes, their last one they put out was not their best work, but I still found songs on there that I enjoyed. For people to be like, oh my God, they don't put out good music anymore. I personally am quite offended by that because I think they do. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but I do think that each of their albums has a redeeming quality about them. And you know, if you hate it so much, just stream it. You don't have to buy it. No one's forcing you to buy their music. I mean, yes, that's how you support bands, but no one's forcing you to buy their stuff. Leading up to this album, there were three singles released. I personally enjoyed all three. Now I will say for all three, it took me a while to warm up to them. When I first heard each of the three songs, I was sitting there going like, I don't know if I really like this. You know, let me, let me give it some extra listens, blah, blah, blah. And then I ended up liking it. So sometimes music is like that. You do have to give it more than one listen through. You need to, to do that two, three, five listen throughs. I don't know how people can do one listen through and then just have their opinions because if that were the case, I wouldn't have liked the album like I do because first listen through, I'm like, this, this isn't exactly what 
you know, what I wanted from them. I appreciate their work that they put into it. I mean, it came out yesterday, so I'm filming this on a Saturday. It came out yesterday, and that's all I listened to at work yesterday was this new album, just because I wanted to give it enough of a chance. My, I'm looking cute right now. And so the first listen through, I'm like, all right, yeah, there are some good ones on here. You know, is it spectacular? No, but there, there's decent listens on here. And then I listened to it again. And some of the songs really started to grow on me. And I listened to it again. Like the last time, some of the songs were really growing on me. There are some songs on this album that I am not particularly keen on, but there haven't ever been very many albums for me where I like the entire thing. So some of the positives about this album. For me, I really do like the three singles they released, which are Inside Out, Full Circle, and Live in the Dream. I really like all three of those and, and think that all three were done very well. Very happy with Five Finger Death Punch on those. Also with the album, the first song on the album is called F8 or Fate. And it's actually instrumental. It's like a lead in uh, to the first song, which is Inside Out. And they did an excellent job with that lead in like props to them on that one. They did a spectacular job. Other songs on the album that I really enjoyed. So a lot of people didn't like this one in particular, but it's called A Little Bit Off. I personally, that one resonated with me so much. So the song, I mean, I'm gonna go into this one in particular because I do think this is one of my favorites on the album, but this song, it, it goes like, you know, I've, I'm a little bit off today and nothing, you know, nothing's gonna make me happy. Not, uh, I'm a little pissed off today. I don't know why, but I am. I, I don't know if other people deal with this at all, but there are just some days where you just don't feel yourself and you don't, you don't know what's going on. You don't know why you feel that way. You just do. There are just days where I'm like, I have no idea what's going on with me today, but it's probably not the day to interact with too many people because I just don't feel myself today. And a lot of people were just like, oh my God, I don't like this song. Like, what was what was Ivan thinking? It's the blah, 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 blah. I personally really like it. Mostly because I can relate to it pretty well. Other songs that I really liked were actually the bonus tracks. So I listened to this on Spotify. And so they had bonus tracks of Making Monsters and Death Punch Therapy. Death Punch Therapy. I love that song. It's just, it's typical Five Finger Death Punch. It's angry, it's aggressive, it's in your face. I love the songs that are hard hitters, that are in your face, that are almost offensive in a way, because they're just like, I hate everyone, blah, 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 blah. Everyone sucks. Me, I love stuff like that, so, while I do get the haters, not just this album, but a Five Finger Death Punch in general, they're like, you know, oh, this is just typical Five Finger Death Punch. This is typical Ivan. Yes, my dog is named after the lead singer of Five Finger Death Punch. So that shows you how much I love the band. And yeah, a lot of the songs on this album do sound like pretty typical Five Finger Death Punch songs, just angry and hating everyone. So I get that. I get that they don't change it up often. I get that a lot of people miss the old Five Finger Death Punch, but they have found a formula. And you know what? Those of us who are fans like that formula. So take that for what you will. I don't remember in general which songs on the album that I wasn't a fan of, but I know there were a few where I'm just like, I just don't like whether it was like the tempo of the song or just the overall sound of the song. But for the most part, this is, this is one that I would listen to in the car because I like to listen to faster songs when I'm driving around. So I guess what I'm trying to get at is was this album anything spectacular? I don't think it's their best, but like I said, I am one of those Five Finger Death Punch fans that can find good aspects about everything they put out. Would I recommend this album to people? I mean, if you're a Five Finger Death Punch hater, you're, you're just automatically not gonna like it, so. But if you're willing to give them a shot, I would listen to it. I would definitely start with their three singles, which are the first songs on the record. I would also recommend my favorite one, which is a little bit off. That to me was just a relatable song because I do have days like that. I related intensely to Ivan's lyrics. Um, him, him saying, you know, I'm a little bit off today. I'm a little bit pissed off today. I'm, a, I'm 
not me today. So if you're willing to give it a shot, I recommend it. However, if you're just gonna be another person that hates on Five Finger Death Punch just to hate on them because you think it makes you cool, move along. By the way, for highlight today, I haven't been saying like products that I'm using today just because a lot of it's everyday stuff, but this actually does go toward the look. And this is the Summer Snow Cone in Skin Frost from Jeffree Star. It's kind of got like a goldy look to it. Okay, this brush doesn't do anything. Why do I have it? All right, for lips today, I am going to be using the NYX Pinup Pout in Rebel Soul. Me, you, something not Jeffree Star. Wow, that's a new one. Kind of has like that burnt red to it. Now I gotta wipe off the under eye setting powder because I found this is how you get your eyeliner and your mascara not to run down your eye is to just set it for a really freaking long time. I'm gonna go in with some mascara and then I'm also going to blend my actual lashes out. And then of course we need some setting spray. What look is complete without setting spray? And voila. All right, what do y'all think? I, I don't think I did the album art justice, but I tried. I honestly think it was mostly the red. I just didn't have like that burnt red color that I was looking for. Everything had like a pink undertone to it and that's not what I was looking for. So I do think adding the brown on top of everything kind of helped, but at the same time, I'm just like, I like the look. I just don't think I did the album art justice. And again, the whole point of these looks are to be wearable. So if anyone's like, oh my God, she like didn't really do anything. Like it's nothing special point is for me to be able to throw this on and go to Target or go to the grocery store. Nothing like too wild or crazy like I'm going to a concert or anything. So that's the point. So are there any Five Finger Death Punch fans that watch my channel? Let me know because I really do enjoy Five Finger Death Punch. A lot of people dislike them and I get it in some instances, but at the same time, I, I just really enjoy Five Finger Death Punch. So I'm very happy with their new album release. I personally enjoy it. It's not my favorite, but I do enjoy it. Also, let me know what you think of my makeup look. Again, I know personally that I don't think I did the album art justice, but it was fun all the same, even though that black eyeshadow did not want to work with me. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button, wherever it may be, because I don't know. Even though I do, this is just my shtick now. Also hit that notification bell in case you want to know when I upload, and in case you too wants to let you know when I upload because I would really appreciate it. And until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm.